Kramer, Marketing Product Specialist for Adkill Hay Tools in North America. We're out here in Hessen, Kansas today, and I want to introduce you to the brand new rear steer offering for the WR Series wind rower from model year 2016. The rear steer offering allows the wind rower to transport at speeds of 24 and a half miles per hour, the fastest in the industry. It's also the most stable transport speed in the industry. The rear steer off the rear steer offering gives the, gives the wind rower the ability to be driven like a combine down the road. This works great for inexperienced operators or operators who have to travel long distances between fields. The rear steer offering is 100% maintenance free, just like the glide rider axle requires no maintenance whatsoever. The rear steer, all, the rear steer offering is also 100% independent on its own. There's no need for a reverse operator station or counterbalance weights. Simply engage the rear steer mode in the monitor and off you go. Now, let's have a look at some of the technology features inside of the console for the rear steer offering. We're in the cab of the wind rower now. Let's have a look at the console and see just how to engage and disengage the rear steer. First, we will select the upper right hand speed selection icon. As you'll see now, on our fourth button down on the right, we have the rear steer icon. Simply press the fourth button down, the rear steer icon, and now you'll see the rear steer menu pop up. Over here on the right hand side we have the rear steer calibration icon. Over here we have the rear steer status screen. At this point it's telling us to drive forward and we're trying to get the blue line into the green slot for a minimum of 30 feet. This re ensures that the rear wheels are pointing straight backwards to finish the calibration. So now we will drive forward and get the blue line right in the green with the F and R handle. As I said, for a minimum of 30 feet, going straight. Once 30 feet has been achieved, you can see the rear steer is fully calibrated and it is now active. You'll see the blue arrows pointing forwards and rearwards telling us our status. As we turn the steering wheel to the right, you can see the blue arrow move right to tell you that if you drive forward, the wind rower will travel to the right, and if you back up, the wind rower will back up to the right. If we turn the steering wheel the other way, you can see the blue arrows move. Now they're pointing to the left, giving you your status. To disengage the rear steer, simply reselect the, the speed selection button, select a different gear. For now, we'll select the second gear, and you can see the rear steer disengages and the flotation menu comes back. So we've covered some of the high-level sales features of the rear steer for the WR Series wind rower. Remember, this is a fully independent, fully active steering system, not a steering assist or steering help. It completely steers the wind rower for you. Also, to finish off our Draper towing package, new for model year 16, is the pivoting hitch. The pivoting hitch can be ran in the upwards position if you're towing, say, a canola roller, or to tow the 5300, you simply pull the pin, Drop it down into place and you're ready to hook up the 5300 and tow it down the road. For more information on the rear steer, visit MasseyFerguson.com or Heston.com. We'll see you next time. Yeah.